Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Hey y'all. Hey. We decided to sit down here for a little bit and go over a lot of the blessings that we've gotten in the past year, year and a half-ish, something like that. And uh, also some of the goals that we have coming up, hopefully for the next year, the 2021. Um, some of them, you know, big goals. Big dreams. That's it. We're dreamers. What is big Ephesians dreams. 320? Yes. The Lord will give you infinitely more than you could ask or imagine. Yes. So exactly. that's kind of our uh, life verse right there. So yes. yes. Um, and he's done that. And, and we all know that 2020 has been a quite a crazy year with a lot of ups and downs. And there's been a lot of downs for us. Um, we're not going to go over the downs. I mean, we've lost animals and things like that. We don't want to focus on that. Everybody's had a rough year. But we want to really highlight the blessings and accomplishments from this year because that's what's important is to remain thankful within your heart and to look at your blessings and what you do have and not what you don't have. Yes. So, all right. So, all right, right now would be a good time to hit the pause button and go grab a warm drink. Yes. <laughs> Kick back We're... and relax and chat with us for a while. Mine was warm, but I kept on painting and now it's kind of He was cold. painting something. He was painting a the bandsaw. The bandsaw, yeah. <laughs> but it's all right. Yeah. Mine's still pretty warm because the Yeti's well, yours is warm. insulated. But it didn't have a lid on it for a little while, so it's not <laughs> quite as warm as it like. But anyway. So, all right. So, um, do you want us each to read one at a time or? It don't matter. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go over blessings and accomplishments first, I think, don't you? Yeah. And then we'll go over our goals for 2021. Goals slash dreams. Goals slash dreams slash prayers. Yeah. Maybe prayers slash dreams slash goals. Yeah, that's probably more that's, accurate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's probably a more accurate uh, layout there. So, um. Sun is um. Oh, let me, let me get myself up, adjusted. There, we there go. you go. I'm tucked in behind him because the yeah. sun is like really. Right in her eyes. Okay. Uh, the first thing on our list is our cooler. And what a blessing that has been. That has just opened up a tremendous uh, avenue for us um, as far as just butchering our own animals and stuff. We no longer have to butcher in the winter when it's cold. We can butcher any time of year. It doesn't matter if it's 100 degrees outside. We can butcher, throw those things in the cooler, chill them down, process them in there. And we Phenomenal. actually got that last year, but it's just this year has really we've used it so much so much more yeah so much has been we didn't have a lot of animals last year to use it with right. so this, this year, year we've really seen how awesome it is we put our food in there uh, like for uh after christmas dinner or thanksgiving we put our food in the refrigerator there and keep it cold um, because we cook in large portions so like yeah. i cook my chili in a five gallon pot because there's 10 of us and then we like to have leftovers so when we're done eating the chili instead of having to find smaller vessels to put in and try to cram it in the tiny fridge because the fridge inside the house is very small yeah take the whole pot out stick it in the cooler it's just it's, it's awesome it's phenomenal yeah so, so it's been on so many levels it's been awesome for us. yes um the other thing they kind of all go together we have grinder it's the meat grinder meat slicer and the bandsaw which we just got the bandsaw we're working um, on yep and those of course are going to just and they already have made our life easier we've already used the grinder and the slicer we're able to do our bacon much more efficiently mm -hmm. and texturally better and so that's awesome um the grinder has just been like insane for our uh speed and efficiency yeah and we'll do some videos of uh actually processing and doing yeah. using those those items. Um, I don't know if I've done any videos of that in a long time. Yeah. So. Oh, the vacuum sealer also goes in with all that. You've yeah. seen us use it for apples and we do our meat. It's been awesome. I um, have actually used the sealer. I didn't vacuum, but I, we bought flour in bulk and um, just five pound bags. And I wanted them to stay fresh. So we put them in the thicker plastic bags for the sealer, sealed them up, threw them in the freezer. So we have mm -hmm. our fl flour staying fresh. So that was like, those are really huge. huge it's a big deal. Yeah, you know? it is. All of these things just make our life 
easier and more efficient in our food preservation that much safer and um, higher quality for us. Absolutely. You know. so, yeah. The other thing, the next on the list would be the cream separator. Yay. That. It's been something we wanted for years. Yes, we, it has been. And we got uh, our first milk cow in 2014, I believe. Um, we leased a milk cow and just, we've not always had a milk cow since then, but off and on and now we are in we several milk cows. Several milk cows. <laughs> so um, having a cream, se cream separator really is a game changer for our, our ability to produce our own dairy products. I mean, we can skim yeah. the cream and do all that, but it's just so much better with the separator. Separator. It makes it, because we do large quantities at a time. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. Uh, the next thing on here, um, <laughs> yeah, this is a blessing. Jack killed his first nice buck this year. Yeah. He's killed deer, um, quite a few, but he got his first nice buck this year. That was a big deal for him. He also got his first deer with a uh, bow. That's a big accomplishment and his first deer with a muzzleloader. So he's, he's been ecstatic about that. And of course that provides more meat for us. And uh, that is a meat, yeah. We'll get into that later. <laughs> but uh, that's, uh, that's a big deal. Kylie also got her first deer this year. Yeah. More meat for us and a huge accomplishment for her. She's hunting for a couple years and just never had the opportunity to get a shot off at one. And this year she got her got to see her first deer while we were hunting to get a shot at and she made it happen. Yep. So awesome we're for thankful her. for that. Uh, we got breeding pigs. So we've been raising pigs for years since 2013, 2014. Um, and we've always bought pigs, there's the several at the beginning of the year. And this year we bought the breeding pair of unplanned. Infinitely more. Infinitely more. It was unplanned. Dirk went to buy a couple of feeder, feeder pigs. Comes home with, I don't even know, it was like 11 or I had a trailer load of pigs. And the four and sow. And so now, I mean, in that, we've, we lost uh, our first sow, which we really love, but we have her babies and we are going to breed them. And we have our boars. So mm -hmm. we're really excited. That has opened up um, more opportunity for us to actually make money on our farm. So yes, that's been, absolutely. And provide more food for our family. So that's awesome. Um, we have been really, really blessed by our viewers and friends and we have received so many gifts this year and it's just been like mind blowing and amazing and humbling because um, it just, how much people have shown their love to us. Yeah. It's just it's, been really amazing. For a long time people asked us to put to, what is it, create the Amazon wish list? Yeah, to make an Amazon And we're, it's just not like us we don't ask for things yeah, or I don't anything want it like to come that out like hey here's my amazon wish yeah list buy us something <laughs> like that's and awkward that's, not, not like yes. you know but people kept asking so uh jenna created that and wow it, it's been a huge blessing our, yeah. our viewers have just blessed us and it's we appreciate that yeah, tremendously so i don't know how much that helps and we were in a long line of guests i have bees down that we also got bees this year which is a yes. huge blessing but we were not just we don't just have bees, we were given the bees, and we were actually, the, the highest came off of our Amazon wish list from yes. a viewer, a friend of ours, um, locally, who actually watches our channel also. They gave us the bees, mm -hmm. and so that's something that has just been like, it's another like, wow, what a blessing. And we it can't was, wait for spring. We didn't, you know, we wanted bees, but we were looking at it down the road. At some point we'll get bees, and you know, when we're in a permanent location and all that, like that's, but God was we like, have them now. here's your bees. <laughs> we're exactly. like, okay. So, yeah. Um, we were able to, we have sold in the past, we've sold some pork, um, and by pork I mean like live and then hauled it to the butcher, you know, yeah. the, like halves and holes, which we're doing this year. Um, we've sold some turkeys in the past, and this is the first year that we've actually sold a decent amount of meat. We sold yes. pigs, we sold um, turkey, we actually sold chicken this year, mm -hmm. so we have actually made well, I mean, I don't know that we've made money as in a profit because we have spent money on feed, but we're actually building that where we have, we're actually selling to yes. customers. So At least it's helped offset our feed cost yeah. uh, for our other animals and stuff. So, so that's it, it, you have to build and invest and, and then at some point you hit there, the, the point where 
you're selling more than you're feeding. Right, especially you know? with beef when you first right. start and you're starting with breeding and getting calves on the ground because when you hit that calf hits the ground, you're looking at a couple of years before butchering, you know, 18 yeah. months to two years. So on grass fed. On grass fed. Um, and so you're feeding, even though we're doing grass, you're still buying hay or whatever, you're, you're raising that animal. Some of them have years. to be supplemented with alfalfa, these three over here. Yeah, so, <laughs> so. You're, you're not free of expense. So right. <laughs> we're, um, you're investing a lot of money and time into that animal before you ever see a profit. So it's mm -hmm. been really neat to actually have a little bit of profit. A little bit of offset year. this year, yeah. Or not a lot yeah. of profit, but a little offset, yeah. A yeah. little money. So um, we also have been blessed with hay. And this was last year and this year. Last we've year and this year. We've been given hay and we've been given really good deals on hay. Yes. And um, it's just been, God's really blessed us in that. God has given us favor with, with people that yeah. we never even imagined. Yeah. You know, it's just been huge, huge His blessings. His faithfulness. Is, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's infinitely more. Yeah. So another big thing for us this year financially was switching feed. Um, we were buying from a somewhat local mill and we like to support local, it's non-GMO, but um, we were able to switch and we actually go to Knoxville, Tennessee about once a month instead of we were buying feed you know, once every week or every two weeks, we were going a lot and the local was like what, an hour and a half or so away yeah. from us, so it wasn't like right here. Um, but the price difference is extremely significant, enough to warrant us driving a eight hour round trip yeah. <laughs> to get feed. Um, so that has been a blessing. And I feel like the feed, I don't want to say it's a higher quality feed because the feed we were getting was quality, but mm. it just seems like our animals have done better. They have. On well, it. And it's, it's also based, corn free. And it, corn free. That, yeah, that was we a were big already thing. soy free, but yeah. yeah. So um, that's been a big, a big deal um, for us. It's helped a lot. And we have several more things on the list. We have the loner donkey. And hopefully that means we'll have a baby mule. I'm not sure if that's a blessing or not, but we'll see. I was gonna say the same thing about the next one. <laughs> the next ones are great. It's my goaties. Yeah. My they're... cute little goats. My goats are rotten and they don't love me. They are you guys, so awesome. I need to breed them so that their babies will love me. But they do. If we have food, they're like all over you. But don't. You just can't pet them. Yeah, you can't pet them. You can't catch them. Well, you can catch them, but it's quite the circus. You guys have seen that a few times. Yeah. So, yeah, um, the, that's, yeah. We that'll go on our goals I don't actually have it written down but getting a buck or borrowing a buck and breeding my goats so I can have baby goats that's definitely definitely a goal definitely a goal yeah I'm getting ahead of myself though okay. um, the next thing we have on our list is our partnership with Gallagher fencing company or they don't just make fencing they make all okay. kinds of things but <laughs> that's been a huge blessing to us and a game changer as far as how much more easily we can move our animals and run our farm um, They've blessed us with product. Uh, we've learned how much better their products are. They've blessed, um, we've, they've done things where they gave away $250 gift card yes. to us, so they're mm -hmm. blessing. And it's you don't have to use it just at their stores. Yeah, it's a Visa gift so, card, yeah. Um, that was a recent thing. So they're a very, um, they're a great company. They just, really are. We've really enjoyed working with them. Great people that we've um, worked with with them. Mm -hmm. So that has been, and we look forward to, as we move forward in our journey and our farming, what else we can do with our product. Um, what, you know, right here where we are, we're using it and utilizing it when we get to our forever homestead, like setting up where we're more, uh, where we can, more we have efficient. more pasture, more pasture to, more, to yeah. rotate and things. Across. And we say that we don't have a forever homestead. We're just dreaming, yeah. <laughs> but just so you know, right. but that's like the, the plan. <laughs> if you guys hear that, there's a pig in the background. Um, Jack and them are moving a pig, so. Yeah. It's a farm. You're gonna hear this kind of noise. <laughs> Roosters crowing and pigs squealing. It happens. Exactly. Anyway. It's funny. Um, just growing our beef herd. We talked a little bit about that earlier. Mm -hmm. We have been blessed to be able to lease the cows and then we are keeping the calves. We have a really good deal on that. Um, and so we're, we're growing our beef herd. We were able to, we actually butchered a steer earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. He was small, but we were out of meat. And it just made sense financially and to go ahead and butcher one and put meat in the freezer. Yeah. And, and it was delicious. It was delicious. It was amazing. And yeah. it, so it's just a huge blessing. Um, and we're growing and we have enough that hopefully next year, mid year or so, we'll have beef to sell. That's yes. like a huge goal. It is. Um, hopefully we can get in with a USDA inspected facility. It's been crazy with getting in with butchers this year. And then we can have it sell by the pound. You know, we're, we have a lot of plans, but that goes into goals. I'm getting ahead again. But, um, and then the last thing I have on here um, is tree stands. 
Yeah. We actually were given two tree stands or gifted. Uh, one is a two-seater stand and it was uh, brand new. It's up in the woods somewhere. Yeah, we've I got like six deer out of the that. The kids call it the tree couch. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's really nice um, and that helps where Derek can take, you know, individually take the kids out and hunt with them, which is really important to us and yeah. um, is really good for the kids. So that's been really nice. They can go sit and just spend hours together in the woods. And then uh, Jack was gifted a tree stand that is was a, kind of a homemade um, yeah, metal. Yeah, it's, it's really it's nice. really uh, super sturdy. It's a cool, sturdy tree stand. It's a hang on stand. Yeah. So Jack was also gifted Jack's that. got some deer out of that. Yeah. So I got a deer out of that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was, those are things that have really helped us like put me in the freezer, you know, being right. hunting out of the tree stand. So, Huge deal. Um, all right. That went a little bit longer than we expected. So we decided to split this into two parts. Uh, that was our accomplishments and, and blessings. blessings. And, uh, well, I think we're going to make another video talking about our goals. 